hi and welcome to the farmhouse. Today we are going to do some maintenance on our butterfly enclosure. We raise monarch caterpillars and this season we have about 60 to 62 caterpillars and about half of them have turned into chrysalis and they have eaten so much milkweed, more milkweed than I can even imagine, which has also created a lot of poop. So we need to clean up all of the poop and just get the enclosure looking nice again. So poop for monarch caterpillars and monarch butterflies can cause disease, which is one of the main reasons we, why we wanna get it out of the enclosure, but it is really good for fertilizers in our plants. So I'm going to vacuum it all out and then I'm going to take the vacuum and dump it into our compost bin so that we can compost it up and use it in our garden in a couple of months. If you are new here, my name is Deanne. I'm a mom to four, plus Ruben, who is our dog. I have a wife to Jamie and a daughter to granddad. We are building our current homestead in Maryland. We are using this homestead as our waiting room and our classroom for our future homestead. Right now, we are really into, and I always have been, really into pollinators. We have started about eight gardens this year. We do a lot of cooking and a lot of baking and really just learning the homestead lifestyle. And we want to inspire you to do the same. It doesn't have to be acres and acres of land and you don't have to know everything there is about homesteading to start. You can start your homestead today and I encourage you to do so. You can find lots of articles and great blog posts on our website, which I will link below. And, and if you are really interested in raising monarch caterpillars, I have two or three other videos in this series and I will link the first one up here at the top for you. And again, there's tons of articles on our website about caterpillars and raising them and how to raise them and I encourage you to check them out. So we are gonna get started on cleaning out our enclosure and seeing how all these fatties are doing. Hi and welcome to the farmhouse. My name is Deanne. I am a mama of four, wife to Jamie and a daughter to granddad. We are a homesteading family in Maryland. We are using our current homestead as our classroom for our future homestead. We love anything outside, all of our DIY projects. We spend a lot of time in our garden and I have a love, love, love for pollinators. We raise monarch butterflies and we have tons of hummingbirds that visit our garden each year. This year we are starting to grow cut flowers that we hope to sell in our market. And we want to encourage you to live the homestead lifestyle. We love it. It has changed our view on life and has just brought us closer together as a family. So please check out our website, hummingbird-acres.com for more information on how you can homestead on any scale. Welcome to the farmhouse and we can't wait to meet you. Okay, right, so yesterday I put in some new milkweed, hopefully encouraging all of the caterpillars that were still on the bottom to climb up to the top to kind of make this cleaning process easier for me. I have a few that are still on the bottom, so I'm gonna take extra care to make sure that they don't get vacuumed up. But I think I'm going to tilt this down for you guys so you can actually see how much poop is in here. Uh, I had to get milkweed from a friend and she brought it to me just in leaves, so I was for a while there just laying the leaves on the bottom of the enclosure because I had no way of sticking them up. So that's why it looks even worse than it should be. So what I'm going to do is pick up some of these leaves that have the caterpillars on it. I'm gonna gently shake off any poop. I'm gonna just lay this around um, the container that I already have in here. Once we are all done, I will put more milkweed in here for them. I 
I'm always really scared that I am going to throw a caterpillar away on accident. So I'm gonna try and keep as many of these bigger pieces as I can, just because I don't wanna throw anybody away. This little guy is gonna need to be picked up. But, isn't he cute? Let's see if we can find somewhere for him to lay. There we go. I see one more right here. Shake some of the poop off. I think this is probably one of the smaller ones I have right now. Everybody else is actually really, really big. All right, let's pull some of these leaves. All right, so I've gotten the majority of the leaves out and all of the caterpillars are up on some milkweed. So I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner and go to town. So I got most of all of the poop cleaned up and they seem pretty happy. I'm going to wait and add more milkweed to this either later this afternoon or tomorrow. There's only maybe 10 caterpillars left, so they really don't need that much milkweed and if they're not gonna eat everything that I have, I would rather plant it in the ground so that my milkweed garden gets bigger. So I'm gonna leave it as it is now and check on it in a few hours. I do want to show you guys how many chrysalises and how many caterpillars are up at the top, so I will show you that next, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video on maintaining and cleaning out your butterfly enclosure. It is actually fairly easy. It's not complicated or hard or anything like that. And like I mentioned before, please check out the links below for other videos on raising monarch caterpillars, and then make sure you stop by Hummingbird Acres Dot com so that you can learn more about raising monarchs and all of those links are listed below.